You know you have made it big in YouTube world when Peak Design sends you a tripod to review. Yes, today I'm going to be reviewing this travel tripod, this aluminum one by Peak Design, which I have never owned a Peak Design product in my entire life. I don't know if they knew that, but that is true. I don't. So I'm going to unbox this. We're going to look at it a little close up. And then honestly, it's a travel tripod. So then we're going to go out into a field or someplace because I'm going to fly my drone and I'm going to have it videotape me and I'm going to videotape. Wait, who says videotape? Before we go on to the unboxing of this, I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. What the heck? The cult is growing and it is growing fast. Therefore, if you are watching this video and you are not part of the crazy train called Jared Hoyman, well, you should get on board because it is nuts. So here is the Peak Design uh, Travel Tripod. Um, haven't opened it yet. This is what it looks like. And so, and this is the way it came. Um, I usually use a scissors, but it looks like there might have been a little bit, maybe travel damage. So you've got the Peak Design little logo right there. You've got uh, everything. TT, travel tripod, CB, compact ball head. That's always nice. Uh, five segments, 150 centimeters max height, and it's an aluminum alloy. I believe there's also a carbon fiber version, which would be lighter. Um, this isn't too bad. It's not super light, but it is compact, which is always huge. Look at that just like lift it up that way and then out slides. Oh, here we go. So it probably doesn't matter a whole lot if you keep that uh, box because this is actually the real container. So the damage on that for travel doesn't bother me a whole lot because, well, I'm probably never gonna use it again. We will unzip it. All right, so just like what it says, it is, it is small, it is compact, um, even has a tiny, little uh, Arca Swiss ball head right there. Everything is just built in, so you are traveling, this would be the way to go. So there's a little turntable here uh, for locking and unlocking. And so when it's locked, you can't do anything, can't push that down. And if you unlock it, well, you can. And it is a very small design, and you can just connect that with a hex screw on here which that hex screw did come with it. It's right here. And so you do have that option. It looks like there's gonna be two different setups and you can travel with that as well. You'd be able to get this onto your camera pretty easily. If you're me, I'm actually gonna leave this on all the time on my camera as I travel. So I don't have to worry about loosening or tightening. And I just, I could take it off of the tripod as needed and then just put it back on pretty easily. And if you want a little bit more close up, this is what that looks like. It's a nice, Nice solid metal right there. And again, you can lock it, and now I can't press down at all. And then we could just put the tripod in there. So it locks pretty good. So the cool thing about this is you can use any Arca Swiss uh, plate that you have. And I have one on 24 seven on all my cameras. So I can move them to one tripod to another. And so you don't have to use the one that comes with this tripod, which it is a nice one, but you don't have to use it. You can use any one you want. So we're gonna travel, not very far. I'm just gonna do a little bit of hiking here in town, maybe back over to UWGB or to the Abbey and fly the drone, but I'm gonna use this tripod with the Canon R6 Mark II and get an idea of what that feels like when traveling. It's a little wet, maybe we shouldn't go through here. All right, so we are here at the St. Norbert Abbey and it is a windy day. So I'm actually not gonna fly the drone right now. So this is the size of the tripod and this is the size of the, um, of the camera. And if you look at that, they're just, they're so compact and small. You could just kind of walk around. I don't even have my backpack on me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up and put this in, but also if you don't wanna bring your camera at a shoot and you just wanna do some casual shooting uh, and use your cell phone, there's an option on here for that as well, which is really innovative.
And this is pretty light for the size that it gets. So when it's compact, you think three and a half pounds is, uh, is heavy, and it's actually a little less than that. So just a little over three pounds um, and pretty sturdy. And so it is really windy out here, um, yet I'm not worried about anything that's gonna get mounted on here blowing over. This is pretty sturdy. You can also adjust the legs. So if you need a leg out a little bit more. Also, you can raise this up right here. And then with that, you can then adjust the ball head as needed to get it level. So I've got the 14 to 35 on the Canon R6 Mark II. And so I'm just gonna mount that in right here. And so it is locked into place, but then you do wanna tighten the lock and now it doesn't move at all. So this is pretty nice. You can walk around this way too. So if I'm gonna go walk to the next shoot, um, if I wanted to go in this marshy little field right here, that might be a little too wet for me. Um, but let's, uh, let's go this way. I wanna get some shots out here. The nice thing about this ball head is most ball heads allow you to only go vertical in one spot. Um, this one allows you to go vertical there and there's other points where you can go vertical. So you don't have to worry about adjusting it. Uh, it clicks in pretty well. So I'm gonna lock this and get it nice and level and get a nice wide shot right here. Now, the other cool thing about this tripod that a lot of people don't realize is you do have that feature underneath here. So let's unlock this. The nice thing about this is there's a little secret compartment. It's like a transformer. So this is exactly where the adapter for your cell phone goes. Um, and then to open it, it just comes out like that. And this adapter will fit in just nicely. So you are now adapted in and then you can raise it as needed. Everybody's got their cell phone on them, photo here, but also video, which is nice when it comes to that. Here it's not moving, it is really light when it has a uh, phone like this on it. But the nice thing about it is that I could take a picture pretty easily of my very attractive wife. <laughs> she likes that when I take pictures of her. So the iPhone 15 does take pretty amazing photos. So with video, we can just have it all set up right here. You can readjust. And now I am in this shot right here that you can see. And, um, and then you can walk around with it as well. You don't need just your camera. You can have your uh, cell phone with you as well. And now it's right there to do something quick. And if you're like me and you have the Rode Wireless Pro, you can connect that to your cell phone. And so video on the go, not just photos. This is pretty nice. Now the fact that this gets this small and it can get very tall, it's obviously a great travel tripod. I do like it. Um, and design is always big for me and no pun intended. It is called peak design, but um, you don't usually get a lot of tripods out there that are just plain black, very little logo. Uh, you get the PD for peak design, but that's nice. I don't need to be flashy when showing everything. Um, you know, I think there are specific tripods for real estate. There are specific tripods for video and there are specific tripods for travel. And this one's actually a really good one for travel. I would be curious on how the uh, carbon fiber one is. It's probably really light. And along with really light, it's probably really expensive. So that might be a review for another time. Peak design. But I will add that the ball head on here is pretty amazing. Um, it's built in, it is awesome, and it is just the locking mechanism is great. Now I do highly recommend this for travel. It is great. Again, if you can fork out the money though, and I haven't reviewed it yet, the carbon fiber is gonna be a lot lighter. I'm not sure when it comes to sturdiness. Again, should review that one. Uh, but the aluminum one, this is solid. It's not light, it is heavy, but you know that the wind is not gonna blow this around when you're outside. And if you're in Northeast Wisconsin, like myself or in the North in the winter, you might want the aluminum one just for that sturdiness. Now there are some awesome discounts going on for this tripod. So you can check out the link below and click on that. It helps support this channel and no, it doesn't cost you any extra. Actually might even give you more of a discount. So check that out and you let me know in the comments 
which tripod you've been using. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you could be part of my cult. It's pretty fun. If you're looking for a tripod for real estate photography or architectural photography, this video might be the one for you. I did a review on this KNF concept carbon fiber one, which I highly recommend when it comes to architecture and real estate. It's a good video.